Okay, once again, I'm happy to welcome you to this second tutorial of the Practical Ethical Hacking Training. And in this segment of this training, we'll be focusing on how we can build a lab. But before we get into building the lab, we want to first of all take a look at the system requirements and the different lab software that we need to have installed on our system. Um, it is recommended that you have your own personal laptop uh, for this training so that you will be able to follow hands-on uh, whatever um, demonstration that is being shown by the instructor for the course. So let's begin with the system requirements. So is what I actually have here is the minimum system requirement. Minimum. So it's actually better if you have something higher than this. But worst case scenario, your system configuration shouldn't be lower than what I've got here. So you need an Intel Core i5 system, right? So Core i5 processor. The system I'm currently using now is Core i7 and 16 gig of RAM. But it's not a must. You have similar and same configuration. So if you've got a Core i5 system with at least 8 gig of RAM, then you are almost there to meeting the minimum system requirement for this training. We've also got to have four CPUs on that system and the speed of the processor should be 3.0 gigahertz. Okay, uh, let me explain something here. So if your system meets every other requirement here, and the processor speed is 2.6 gigahertz, the system should still be able to meet up with the requirements. All right. So just in case your system didn't get up to that 3.0 gigahertz. For the storage, I would prefer you get a system that has SSD, which is solid state drive, at least 500 gig of hard disk for storage. If it's SSD, that is preferably, but if you can't get SSD, you can use normal SATA hard drive. Okay, so that is the minimum system requirements. And then we also need to talk about the virtualization software. So there are software that we are going to install on our laptop to make it possible for us to run other systems on top of our physical laptop. That ability to run another machine on top of your laptop is called virtualization technology. So when we talk about virtualization technology here, there are different products that we could use to set up this lab, right? Presently, I personally am using this one here, which is VirtualBox, right? Okay, but there are other options. Um, if I go to the web, we have VMware Workstation Player. Actually, there is VMware Workstation, uh, which requires you pay for licensing in order to use it. But the VMware Workstation Player is a free tool that you can download from the VMware.com website. So let's take a look at the website. Um, so here we've got VMware Workstation Player. And um, you can see the VMware Workstation Player version 17 is what I have on display here. And uh, we can actually download this for free. And that is the interesting part of it. So it could be downloaded free of charge uh, without having to pay for licensing. As a matter of fact, if I scroll down here, you'll see download for free. And uh, if you download this, you have to set it up just uh, click on it and then follow the instructions on the screen and get it installed on your PC. And then on top of this VMware workstation player, you can now go ahead and start to install other lab software for this training. All right. But VMware workstation player is not the only um, virtualization platform we have available. We also have Microsoft Hyper-V. Uh, Microsoft Hyper-V is a product from Microsoft that allows us the capability to run other operating system on top of our physical hardware 
like our laptop. So um, how do we go about getting Microsoft Hyper-V? Um, good enough, Microsoft have their Hyper-V product already installed on every Windows 10 professional or Windows 10 enterprise. You can also find it in Windows 11 OS if it's a professional edition or enterprise. If you are using the home edition of Windows, you are not going to see this feature or the support for Hyper-V in those operating systems. So the Windows has to be a professional edition or an enterprise edition. So as a matter of fact, if you have a Windows 10 professional, which is what I'm using on my laptop, you just go to the search and then open up control panel. So already I've opened control panel and I just want to quickly bring it up here. So this is my Windows control panel and uh, I want to go to um, uh, programs and features. So let's look for programs and features. Um, programs and features, here we go. Click on programs and features and then you have to go up here and click on turn Windows features on or off. Um, wait for that box to launch and uh, once the box launches, you navigate down here to Hyper-V. So you can see Hyper-V here, we have Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V platform. So we'll make sure we tick both of them and we'll go ahead and click on OK and it's going to install those tools for us. And at the end, all we need to do is just to restart the PC and we are good to go. So we could, could now go to search and try to type Hyper-V and the software will be there pops up and then on top of the Hyper-V, we can begin to install our virtual machines or uh, virtual operating systems. Okay, so that is if you want to go for the option of Hyper-V. The third option we have in terms of virtualization technology, as we have on the slide here, would be that of a virtual box. All right, so I've shown you um, the VMware Workstation Player and there's also option to use Hyper-V which is already built into every Windows 10, Windows 11 Professional Edition or the Enterprise Edition. And then VirtualBox can also be downloaded. Um, I'll be sharing the links of where all of these things will be downloaded um, in a moment. So uh, let me go back to VirtualBox uh, here We'll have virtualbox.org and if I move the window here a little bit to the right, you are going to see we have download icon here. So if I click on downloads and scroll down, you are going to see that presently we have VirtualBox version 7.0.12. And we can download for Windows host, that is if you are using Windows operating system. In my own case, my laptop here that I'm using for this lab is Windows 10 operating system. That means that the virtual box I'll be downloading will be for Windows 10 host. If you're using Mac, you have to go for Mac. All right, so if I click on this Windows host, it's going to go ahead and download virtual box for me. Okay, so you could see VirtualBox is downloading, have to cancel it. And still on this same page, you have to scroll down after you are done downloading VirtualBox and you are going to see VirtualBox extension pack. Don't forget to download the extension pack after you are done downloading your VirtualBox. The reason why is that extension pack is a requirement if you want our virtual machines to be able to detect the hard drives, external hard drives or the flash drives that is inserted into our physical laptop and probably want to copy a content from that flash, not into our laptop, but into one of the virtual machines that we have running on the virtual box. In that case, we need to download and install on our laptop VirtualBox extension pack. So after we have downloaded VirtualBox for Windows host, we scroll down to VirtualBox, VM VirtualBox extension pack, and then we'll click on all supported platform and the extension pack 
will start to download. So I'm going to cancel out of here. And that's what we need to do to get VirtualBox downloaded. All right. So let's look at other requirements for setting up this lab. And so what about the operating system? So we have quite a lot of operating systems to install um, on this lab. Okay. So we are going to get an attacker operating system, which is going to be running on our attacker machine, which is the machine we'll be using to launch most of the attacks. And those two operating systems we'll be needing is Kali Linux operating system, as well as Parrot operating system. So in this profession of security auditing and pen testing, Windows is not really a good product to use. So most of the machines we'll be using here are Linux. Okay, so we'll be using Kali and Parrot for launching attacks, but then we also need to have other machines which will be receiving those attacks. Those are the victims. So we have a couple of vulnerable operating systems which will make up the vulnerable virtual machines that will be targeting in our attacks. One of those machines will be the OWASP Broken Web Application. This is a vulnerable web server. So with OWASP, we've got a whole lot of websites that are running on that machine. And all these websites have one form of vulnerabilities of the other. Okay? So if you really want to learn and you want to hone your skills on website penetration testing, then having an OWASP machine is a good way to go. Um, coupled with that, we're also going to have Metasploitable 2, which is also another web server. So we are going to have opportunity to exploit SQL injection from MySQL server that is built into these machines, the OWASP broken web application and the Metasploitable 2 um, virtual machines. And we cannot finish this training without um, exploiting a Windows machine. So we also need to have a Windows operating system. Minimum Windows system will be Windows 7 operating system or anything higher than Windows 7 operating system. Okay, so this is what this lab is all about. And you already seen the system requirements. So you make sure you are getting a system for this training. The system should have at least these minimum requirements. And in this lab, we are going to focus on using VirtualBox, right? So even though I've shown you the other options we have in terms of virtualization software, uh, we're going to keep to VirtualBox. And um, we're also going to see the different websites where we can go to in order to download these operating systems that we're going to use to set up this ethical hacking lab. All right. So that will be the size of this presentation for now. And then in the next video, we are going to see where we can get to on the internet in order to download these operating systems that will help us to set up this lab. Thank you so very much for watching and see you in that tutorial.